Hey, how's it going? <gasps> oh my god, did you just talk? Uh, I did. Are you one of those frogs that'll turn into a prince if I kiss you? Why don't you kiss me and see for yourself? You're, st you're still a frog. Yeah, you also have to reach one hand under me and lightly touch the underside of my penis. What? You have to reach one hand under... No, 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 no. I, I, I know what you said, but I, I, I've just never heard that part. Well, you have now. So I, I just uh, lightly touch... The underside I... of my penis, yeah. Oh, okay. I... No, nothing's happening. What do you mean? You're not turning into a prince. I'm not a prince. But you told me you were. Uh, I did not. Uh, yes, you did. I did not. You said I was, and I just didn't bother to correct you. So, what are you? I'm just a frog looking to get some wood, man, and <laughs> mission accomplished. Thank you very much. You're a sick pervert. Yeah, well, I'm the one with the boner, so jackpot for me. You lose. You're a bastard. Well, take a hike, then. Hey there. <gasps> a frog prince. I'm supposed to kiss you, right? No, actually, you're supposed to take a dump on my back. Oh, Titsy, no! What are you doing? You think you're fooling them with that wig, but they're gonna find you out? They're gonna find you out, and then what? And the shit hits the fan, doesn't it? Oh, you're not using your brain! Oh, Kermit, what are you doing? You can't get to Hollywood in that old Studebaker. And besides, you're a poopit. They're not gonna listen to a poopit in Hollywood. Oh, don't stop and pick up those other poopits. There's no room for them in the car. Oh, you're not using your brain. Oh, Bender, what are you doing? Don't talk back to the principal. He's just going to make you come back next Saturday. Just keep your mouth... Oh, you did it. You talked back to him. Oh, now you're going to get more detention. Oh, you did it again. You got another. What's wrong with you? Oh, there's another. Stop it. Oh, you got one more. You stupid bastard! Oh, you're not using your brain! Oh, Marty, what are you doing? Don't be hanging around that old man. His crazy inventions are just gonna get you into trouble. Oh, don't get in the DeLorean! He just told you it's a time machine! Oh, now you're gonna go back to the 50s and fuck up your parents' lives, and you'd know that if you were using your brain, but you're not, are you? You're not using your brain. Hello. Hi. What's that you're reading? Uh, I'm just reading this LA Times piece on campaign reform. Oh. Where are you flying to? Uh, Africa. Oh, you live there? Yeah, I was just here for the holidays, and now I'm heading back home. Oh, cool. What, uh, what, what do you do there? Look, I don't mean to be rude, but I really would kind of just like to read this article. Oh, no, sure, yeah. No, it's... No, yeah, I'm, I'm just not much of a talker. Yeah, no, uh, no, I was just asking what you do for a living. Um, I peel bananas with my feet, uh, I pick bugs off my friend's backs, and that's pretty much it. Oh, I bet that's really interesting. No, not really. So, um, if you're ever in town again, would you maybe want to, uh, go get a drink with me or something? See a movie? Well, I, I don't really know when that would be. I, uh, I don't get to the States that often. Oh. Yeah. Well, would you want to have sex with me now, then? Now you're talking. That was awesome. I know. I mean, really. You were so giving. Oh, well. So unselfish. You, you make know? it easy. Oh, I'm blushing. <laughs> really? I don't see it. No, it's, it's only on my balls. I blush with my balls. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Weird. Um, hey, listen, there's, there's something you should know. What's that? I have this disease that kind of makes your immune system sort of go away. Oh. Yeah, it's probably nothing, but I just thought I should tell you. Oh. Okay. Otherwise, I am clean as a whistle. Oh, great. Hey, thanks for not making me wear a condom. Oh, yeah, no problem. Want to go again? Let's pound it, brother. Now, if you'll turn to page three in your packets, we'll go over fiscal projections. 
I'm pleased to announce a 32% increase in profit for the fourth quarter, as well as a 16% rise in yearly revenue at all subsidiaries. This is despite heightened competition and higher labor costs. Compound percent yield, of course, assumes reinvested interest. Now, value-oriented stocks appear to be attractive prospects once again and quite able to generate a healthy cash flow and give investors a reassuring margin of safety. Although the market is far from where it was six years ago, we're looking anew at value stocks and mutual funds that hold value-oriented shares, which tend to have a low price-to-earnings or price-to-book ratios or high yields from dividends. In fact, value stocks have performed better than growth stocks over the past several years among the larger corporations, and the long-term compound appreciation is quite impressive. Ha <laughs> 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 Assholes! Uh-oh, I gotta poop. Come on, you. We are gathered here today to ask the blessing of the Lord our God for this union of Mark and Stephanie. Well, that's good enough for me. It's been great, Steph. Same here. Good luck. Best of the family. Yours too. I mean, this is pretty clear, right? Oh yes, that's God shit. Right, yeah. Okay, thanks everyone. All right, here's one. So, a horse walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, fuck you. Whoa! What the hell's your problem? You're my problem, dude. That joke is offensive. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry that not everyone conforms to your preconceived notions of attractiveness. It's a joke, man. Oh, oh, yeah? Oh, it's a joke? How about this? Why are there so few black baseball players? Why? because they're always stealing bases. Ha 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 Whoa! Hey, now that is offensive. Yeah, what the hell, man? Hey, it's a joke, man. Yeah, but it's racist. Oh, the horse with a long face just told a racist joke, huh? Yeah, that's different. Oh yeah, how's it different? Hey, why do you have so many drinks and you haven't touched any of them? Uh, hello, Einstein. Hooves. No fucking thumbs. Can't pick up a glass. Well then, why are you in a bar? Eat shit, that's why, dickhead. Look, look, I think we all got off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, well, you got that right. We're sorry, okay? All right, me too. Look. I'm Mike, and this is Harry. Sarah Jessica Parker. Hello, and welcome back to Name That Animal Penis. I'm here with our reigning champion, Kevin Biggins, who has advanced to the glory hole round, which means we're going to stick a live animal's penis through that hole over there. And if you can guess what type of animal it belongs to, you're going to win $100,000. Are you ready? I'm ready to name that animal penis, Bob. All right. Then let's fill that glory hole. Wow. That sure is an animal penis. I can smell it from here. Are you ready to identify it? <sighs> Man, I, I don't know. Talk it out. Well, it looks like some kind of large jungle cat, but I'm, I'm not really sure. You still have a lifeline. Would you like to use it? Yeah, I I'm going to call my dad. Good luck. You have 30 seconds. Hello? Dad, it's Kevin. What kind of animal's penis is brown and purple about a foot and a half and really veiny? What? Where are you? No time, Dad. I just need to know about the penis. It has a very strong kind of burnt smelling odor. Kevin, it is the middle of the night. Michael, who is that? It's Kevin. He's asking about animal penises. What? Why? Dad, I really need to know about this penis. It looks like a panther's, but the fur is too light and the balls are just huge. What? Kevin, you're upsetting your mother. Linda, calm down. <laughs> that wasn't much help. No, not really. I'm still stumped. Would you care to take a guess? Uh, is it a mountain lion? Yes. Whoa. Oh, are you serious? But that was a total shot in the dark. Congratulations, Kevin. You've won 100,000 dick dollars and a chance to go for one million. Or are you ready for the bonus round? Absolutely. All right, Kevin. Name that animal penis. Uh, can we hurry this along, please? I have a plane to catch.
Holy shit. I did it. He's under there. I got him. I fucking got him! Jesus, I'm gonna need a shovel. Mmm. Oh, this is delicious. I, I mean, you know, it's like when you work for your meal, when you really work for it, it just tastes that much better, you know? So, what are you gonna do now? Huh. Never really thought about it. Been chasing this damn bird for 20 years. I... Not really trained for anything else. I guess I kind of let my life get away from me. <laughs> well, I'm sure something will turn up. Okay, uh, that's a pastrami on rye, uh, pasta salad, uh, two Diet Cokes. No, 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 it was one Coke and one Diet Coke. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Well, we've been waiting an hour. I know, I'm sorry. Well, what the hell kind of place is I'm it? I'm sorry! Oh, God damn it, I'm sorry! All right! I'm just having some fucking identity issues right now, and I, I can't think straight, and I, I... Just get off my back, because you don't know what it's like! Wiley, you're fired. Mom and Dad, fucking forgive me for this. And then, all of a sudden, it hit me. I knew who I wanted to be. And I untied myself from that catapult, and here I am. Well, that is such a relief. I know, I know. So, if you have about 45 minutes, I'd like to talk to you about the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. The sky is looking oh so blue, and all of nature seems so new. The sun is shining bright, and everything's all right, because I just came inside of you. Hey, you're not a dead body. No, I'm Helena Bonham Carter. Oh. Yeah, it's an honest mistake. Happens all the time. Ow. God, this was incredibly uncomfortable. Hup. Okay, I did not agree to a threesome. Hup. I'm gonna get in shape. But not today! <laughs> I'm gonna go get a sandwich instead. Sir Gallant, I have summoned you here today to ask you to serve your king and country. The dragon that has been wreaking havoc throughout this land must be stopped. Yeah? And you must slay this ferocious beast. Fuck no! What? No way! That's like crazy shit you're talking right there, King! But, Sir Gallant, the dragon is destroying our land! Yeah, gee, no shit, I wonder why. Oh, maybe it's because it's fucking huge and breathed all, like, fire and shit? Yeah, that might have something to do with it. You must do this! It is your duty! Fuck off, you do it! Well, I can't. Oh, well then, he who lives in a glass house, blah 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 you're fucking high if you think I'm gonna- Uh, hey. Hi there. Oh my god, there he is! Uh, yeah, um, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation, and I feel somewhat responsible. You are, you little rat fuck! Mm, bop you on the nose, sir. Ow. Um, but listen, if I'm really causing all this trouble, I'm just gonna split. You would spare our kingdom? Yeah, I... I just don't feel super comfortable being the cause of all this internal confrontation. Well, there you go! Yeah. Well, this all worked itself out, huh? Yeah, so I'm gonna go wreck some other kingdom. Do it! Okay. Well then, we are saved! Everybody dance now! Da, 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 da. Hey, you do this! Fuck yeah! Smoke pot, kids! Do your homework too, but when you're done, smoke pot and listen to music. Use headphones if you got them. Make sure to keep a pen and pad by your bed to write down all your thoughts. You might surprise yourself. And don't be lazy and just repeat them over and over in your head. Write them down! You'll forget that shit in the morning. It'll piss you right off. <laughs>
Oh, also, you should get a summer job. Mow lawn, something outside. And for no other reason than to get your parents off your back, am I right? Okay, get out of here, you rascals. Go find some pot. All right, Steve, Fido, your category is things you find in the kitchen. Fido, you'll be giving the clues. You have one minute. Go. Uh, oven. Silverware. Uh, cereal. Refrigerator. Pantry. Salt. Muffin. Baking tray. Uh, phone. Apple. Toaster. Napkin. Ice cube. Dishes. I'm sorry, you're out of time. It was Blender, you asshole. Blender. Dumbass. Mario, you did it! I'm saved! Thank you, thank you so much! Yes, Princess, you are free. Your nightmare is over. Oh, I'm so Happy. Yes, yes. How about a kiss? What? I say, how about a kiss, yes? What? Why would I do that? What? Why would you? I, I just saved your life. Yeah, but I, I don't even know you. I rescued you. Yeah, but you expect... What What kind of Samaritan are you? You rescued me just so you could get with me? Jesus Christ, I'm not asking you to suck in my dick. All I want is a kiss. Do, do you know what I went through to get here? Ooh, you leaped a bunch of mushrooms. I'm so impressed. Well, you're the one who got captured by mushrooms. I mean, how anyway, the fuck does that even around. happen? Don't flip this. I'm not. You got kidnapped by something that goes on a salad. Okay, it's a little more complicated. And by the way, by the way, I did not just leap a bunch of mushrooms. There were also these turtle shell things I had to jump over, and that was that was really hard. And the only help I got was every once in a while a gold star would appear up above me, and I would jump up and touch it, and it'd go da da da, let that let let that let that let that let let, and then that would help a little bit. And I feel a little better, but it was hard. I mean, the, the whole thing was really hard. I'm not kissing you. Okay, fuck this. Fuck it. Hey, dragon, you can have her. Michael, this isn't going to be easy, but you're a grown man now, and your mother and I feel you deserve to know the truth. Well, I don't understand, Dad. Michael. You're not our biological son. What? You were adopted. Oh my... Oh my god. Your mother and I felt it was wrong to conceive a new child with so many unwanted children in the world already. Oh, baby, we're sorry we didn't tell you sooner. We just... We wanted to wait until you were mature and able to handle the knowledge. Oh my gosh. My head is spinning. To be honest, we were always afraid you'd figure it out for yourself based on little obvious things. I mean... We all have such dark hair, and your hair is blonde. The rest of the family has brown eyes, and yours are blue. And is your fair complexion. I mean, none of us have freckles like you do. That's right, and you're a good deal taller than either your mother or I, and your nipples don't stick out five feet in front of you like the rest of the family. But we always loved you, as if you were our very own, and we still do, Michael. Actually, that's another thing, your name. W what about my name? Your real name isn't Michael Sticknipples. I it's not? No, your birth name is Albert Schitzneez. 
This is so much to process. I know, I know it is, dear. We understand if you're upset with us. No, I I'm not. I mean, well, I don't know, maybe a little. I, I, I just, I, I don't really understand. <laughs> I don't understand why you felt like I wouldn't be able to handle this. I mean, I love you guys. You raised me. As far as I'm concerned, you're my parents. Oh, Albert. We love you, too. Do I have a middle name? Yes, you're Albert Horsefeet Shitsneez. <laughs> you know, being out on this ocean reminds me of when we were filming uh, uh, U-571. You familiar with that picture? It's a submarine picture. I spent a lot of time in the water for that. You know, I also made a movie called Fool's Gold, me and uh, Kate Hudson. Yeah, we had a contest to see who could get more tan. I won, of course, but still it was a great contest. You know, the last time I was on water in a ship scenario, I was making a little picture by a man named Steven Spielberg, up-and-coming director. You might have heard of him. It's a film called Amistad, a historical picture. Flexed my acting chops, as it were. Not quite the way I did in We Are Marshall. Did you see that face I made? It was like... But I was making a face like a real guy. There was a guy... <laughs> he really looked like...